what you do can make a difference and you have to be the one to decide what kind of difference you actually want to make. But it all starts with being responsible. Yes, you have to be responsible. And I'm not talking about taking ownership uh, for uh, your faults or avoiding negative things. I'm talking about being responsible for positive things and making an actual impact. When we think about people who did an invention, like who's responsible for the airplane? Who's responsible for Amazon? We're talking about who is the person behind this thing that brought such great phenomenon in the world, right? That that person is responsible. And what I want to encourage you to do is to think beyond just the, the day-to-day grind that you're in and realize that, man, I can actually be responsible for something innovative, so for something, some type of invention, some type of major impact, and it all starts with just being re- responsible. So in this video, you'll be able, uh, you'll be more empowered to extract massive results out of simply taking personal responsibility first, and then also thinking through ways that you can actually be responsible without further ado let's get it in listen shy speak shy speak shy speak shy speak so when i say be responsible i actually mean um wow what do i mean when i say be responsible well for me i would say i think about um people who have achieved all types of great exploits. I'm talking about everything from missions around the world to local community efforts. And I uh, see things that, uh, that, that are being done and that are still being carried out. And some of the people who are responsible for it have long gone you know, on they've transitioned from this life to the next. And, um, but, but ultimately, They started something. They were responsible for something. They created something. They innovated something. They dared to believe that they could actually be responsible for something. But you have to be responsible to something before you can be responsible for something. So what do I mean when I say that? Be responsible to uh, yourself. You have to be responsible to um, uh, the accountability that you particularly need. You have to be responsible primarily um, to all of those things that I say that this is not all about, right? So uh, individual responsibility, it's all about taking ownership for your faults, taking ownership for your mistakes, avoiding negative things. You do have to do that in order to be responsible. You have to actually take it a step further. And I really want to talk about that because I heard somebody say, everybody wants to be great, but nobody wants to be responsible. Uh, And this is near and dear to me on a personal level, because oftentimes I am out and about and i'm experiencing different networking events in fact i was at recently at one networking event and i was awarded an achievement for being a i'm not even gonna because if i tell you what i was awarded for then you'll know the event but basically i was awarded an achievement and then afterwards we went to go hang out and during our hangout people were asking you know hey what do you want to eat what do you want to drink and what so forth and so on they were out ordering and i was kind of quiet and then someone says hey, let's just get uh, shots for everybody, right? Now, I am a full-blown out adult. uh, And so they just, someone just assumed that, okay, well, she probably would take the shot. And so another person said, hey, 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 hey. I didn't have to say anything. The other person said, hey, shot doesn't drink, so take that one shot off, right? And so they were like, oh, okay. And then um, we're continuing going on, getting the food. And then someone says, oh, they were ordering something and they were like, oh, let's get this, this, that, and the third. You want this for the entire table? Table. And somebody said, well, uh, Sha didn't, Sha didn't eat meat. And they were like, they stopped and looked at me like, what? What's going on? Right. And so the person said, wow, you're so responsible. Listen, all that had happened at that point is I had denied two uh, meals or two dishes or two, you know, or a, a dish and a drink. 
But what they could tell just by that, by my ability to say no to certain things, that they saw that I was a person who was very responsible. I also said that I was about to be leaving soon because I like to make sure I get home by a certain time and so forth and so on. So they just kind of overall sense this responsibility. And they were like, child, not me, right? And I thought to myself, wow, I wonder how much of me being how I am affects who I am, right? So I am a person who is achieving this type of award. I'm a person that is achieving this type of honor. I'm a type of person who's uh, making some type of responsible. I am responsible for civilized fest or i am responsible for this level of impact i don't have a desire to name all the things that i'm responsible for but maybe it's how i am that affects who i am right who who i get to be who i get to be known for what what i get to be known for is really all about how i am and i think that um while it was a joke we're like i mean i'm sure i'm sure not responsible then it's, it's kind of like but but you could be, right? You could be more responsible personally. And if you'd be more responsible personally, you'd probably be able to tap into more disciplines. You'd probably be able to tap into different thoughts. You'd probably be able to unlock different aspects of yourself. You'd probably be able to be more e uh, efficiency, uh, I mean, e efficient and achieve more. Just possibly uh, there's a slight chance that this could be true, that if you be more responsible, you'd be more responsible. So I just want to tell somebody to, hey, if you want to be responsible for something, something innovative, something creative, something world-renowned, something global, not even global, something massively impactful on a local level. If you want to be responsible, I am the person who changed the trajectory of my family because I chose to get saved, for example, give my life to the Lord and start living with integrity or so forth. And so I'm just using that as an example of something that you could possibly do. You'd be responsible for a lineage of people changing. Why? Just because of you, you'd be responsible, but it all starts with you being responsible so, so that's it if you want to be responsible you have to be responsible listen shy speech shy speech shy speech shy speech